the cleanup had just begun in Louisiana after Hurricane Ida left the path of destruction. The damage is widespread with homes and buildings partially or completely destroyed. Other areas dealing with heavy flooding. President Biden promising full support from the federal government. And Iowa News reporter Alex Cheney joins us live for the newsroom with all the details. Alex? David, Tropical Storm Ida is on the move, causing dangerous flash flooding conditions in parts of Mississippi and Alabama. The rain is still falling in some parts of Louisiana, where Ida hit as a Category 4 hurricane. A second person has just been confirmed dead, and the death toll is expected to rise as the search and rescue efforts continue today. Search and rescue efforts underway across the Gulf Coast after Ida slammed into Louisiana as a Category 4 hurricane, killing at least one person. No one has any cell phone service or anything, so it's just a, it's a waiting game. Heavy rain pounding the state for hours, causing severe flooding, punishing storm surge, widespread power outages that may last weeks in the hardest hit areas, and the rapidly rising waters trapping some people in their homes. And we had to deploy boats at four o'clock this morning and, and do uh, water rescues. We took uh, about 15 people off their, the roofs of their homes. A lot of people had hunkered down in the houses since last night, so they're just getting pulled out of the houses today. Debris and standing water making it difficult for first responders to access some of the hardest hit areas, forcing residents to take matters into their own hands. A couple of people behind me have a lot of friends and family out there, so uh, I got a fairly decent sized boat, so if I can get a couple people to ride with me, we'll check on everyone once we get out there. Ida has weakened as it moves inland, but with heavy rainfall, drainage systems without power, and overwhelmed levees, there's still a risk for more life-threatening flooding. President Biden is pledging federal help. More than 5,000 members of your National Guard have been activated from Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Texas to support search and rescue. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said today that there are still at least 1.1 million homes and businesses without power, and the state will try to restore electricity as soon as possible. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.